so North America is just a huge chaotic mess because nobody has joined any of the European or Old World factions. Uh, I think at one point some state joined the common turn, but they got destroyed really quickly. So it's gonna be a North America that is completely forming their own ideas and factions by themselves. I don't think ideas worked in that context, but you know what I'm trying to say. There's, uh, there's gonna be, a, whatever happens out of this, uh, I don't think it will be, I don't think it'll be anything, no European influence, I don't think we're gonna see in this series, but I could be totally wrong. I've been completely wrong my entire life in things, and, uh, so we'll, we'll see. So, uh, anyways, Socialist Republic of Ohio has joined the syndicate. There's tons and tons of things going on, so, um, there are states that I'm, I'm definitely missing. Ontario and the Ontarian, are they, would you say people from Ontario are Ontarian? Probably not, but there's a Quebec-Ontario alliance that's going on, which I think is pretty cool. Texas is going after New Mexico. Of course, the Lone Star State looks pretty, actually, ooh, I don't know, this is gonna be close, because they're fighting, they're fighting the New Mexican Empire, the Wyoming Empire, Kansas Empire, so a lot of the fascist states going at it once again, you would think that they would just, you know, work together, but I guess not. They want to form the ultimate confederation because right now there's there's two confederations. Oh, I didn't realize that. Uh, who who are you? Minnesota joined the confederation too, the same confederation. Which means that they're fighting this war with Texas. Yes, they are. Oh, maybe they'll be okay. Venezuela has joined the confederation, but which one? The Lone Star Confederation? Uh, no. It looks like you joined the other one. And this is going to be really interesting because Nationalist Spain won in Europe, which means that the, the, the much-needed fascist support in Europe is, is now going to be there in Iberia, too. So it's going to be really reliant on whatever Spain and Italy do uh, to, to kind of spread fascism. And, uh, and no, no one has joined any sort of faction here. Uh, there, there's, no, there's no wars that will be declared. Boom, there goes Japan versus China. That isn't a surprise. Has China united yet? They probably will unite. Well, maybe not. They, they, they normally do. Well, we didn't see them do it in the first part of this series either. So maybe China won't unite uh, their other territories. Anyways, yeah, so we'll, we'll kind of take a look at this a little bit later. But I'm definitely going to, I'm continuing to keep an eye on it. I promise. I promise. So yeah, uh, Tennessee doing really well. Actually, who is Tennessee? You white peace. Oh, there's actually been quite a few white peace deals. You don't have any friends, Appalachia. So that's that's not good. Uh, Ohio versus... Oh, two communist states going at it. New York is still around, surprisingly, even though... Even though New York was in a really tough bind. Oh, they just took over New Jersey. Did you did you did you take it over completely? I think you still have to peace out with them or something, right? Well, either way, New York looks really good too. Uh, what did Florida do? Florida stayed. Oh, boom! Treaty of Santa Fe. So it looks like, yeah, there will be only one confederation, and that will be the Lone Star Confederation, pretty much. Oh, they took everything. Jeez. So huge fascist uh, support here in the middle of the country. Lone Star Empire, Oklahoma Empire, and then uh, the Minnesota Empire. But keep in mind, we also have, uh, you know, Vegas is Hitler. Hitler Vegas. Hitler Vegas? I don't know. Something like that. You know what I'm trying to say. I just thought... <laughs> yeah, yeah, something, something like that. Have you guys done anything? Uh, we've got British Columbia and Alberta still working to fight off uh, Socialist Montana uprising through... Southern Canadian provinces. Canadian provinces. Is most of the South South Democratic? Yes, it is. The South has not been doing anything in the series, and it's kind of weird. I have never seen like all of the Southern states just all do nothing. It's weird. What's going on with that? Uh, so I imagine that we're gonna see Texas go after. Oh, you're still fighting. You're fighting Montana now. Okay, well, that's, that's fine. But I'm thinking we're going to see Texas kind of support California here and go after Mexico. Do you guys not like each other? We don't know yet. 
It is the first month of January 1938. And uh, let's also check back. Oh, China did unite. Okay, never mind. China united. I just had to give them, had to give them a little bit of time. Did they form their own faction? They must have. Yeah, Chinese United Front. Um, I wonder what Japan is going to join. What faction will Japan... And who would join Japan's faction? There's no one really around them. Maybe the Dutch? No, there's no way. There's no way the Dutch would join that. I don't think. Let's check on the politics of, of Europe briefly here. So, um, who is leaning fascists? Yugoslavia could go either way. They could go to any of the three... One, three um, major ideologies. Greece and Bulgaria. There's a few... Yeah, I mean, the Balkans could be a huge support for fascist Europe that will, as I said, not have the axis. It will be under a different name. Uh, but, you know, the Allies could definitely dip into a lot of these Western German states. A lot of the Western German states could probably join uh, the Allies because they're so democratic. And then Prussia's just chilling here. Has Poland formed its own faction yet? We don't know. I think Poland's going to be very aggressive in this scenario. I'm willing to bet Poland does their own thing and just starts going to war with their own people. And maybe they'll have the support of Prussia. Maybe I, I could see Poland, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, and Prussia going after the Soviet Union. If the Soviets or maybe at the same time fighting, you know, who knows, the Japanese. Maybe that would be a thing. Oh, so is Venezuela still under the other confederation? They are. So, I don't know if we could see an invasion. Look at this, like, these democratic states down here. That's pretty funny. Confederation, that is a different confederation once again. Wow, these factions are weird. These are very strange factions that have formed. So, it seems like most of uh, the action will probably take place because of Texas, Oklahoma, and, uh, and Minnesota. I think they'll be the ones that will declare a pretty big war next because they're about to win Minnesota Empire. Look at how crazy Minnesota is looking right now. Texas is pretty preoccupied with Mexico. Mexico ended up taking a little bit away, which is why I thought the Lone Star State would be kind of, you know, upset. I figured the Lone Star State would be like, hey, what are you, what are you doing here, man? Why are you taking our, our territory for? I thought they would do that. I'm still looking at Zukon. Let's uh, let's look at somebody else for a second here, right? Oh, Tennessee got crushed back. Dang, for a second there, Tennessee looked really good. And then we've got a lot of communism out here. Oh, what is this? Illinois changed there. Oh, that's fine. Is New York still doing all right? What is uh, who's New York's fascist uh faction? Syndicate. Oh, and they're after Maine. Well, you're going to win that. That's for sure. There's no way you don't win that. World tension's only at 50%. That's not too bad. I figured that would be way worse. So this will be the next peace deal. And uh, also, oh yeah, British Columbia is still after you. Alberta's not in this war too. How do they, they must have white pieced. I'm assuming. Assuming they must have white peace. And the, one of the strangest things happened, and usually strange things happen because we have non historical focus on, but a fascist state is now an allied support faction, which I just thought was the weirdest thing ever. I don't know. To me, that is uh, very strange. Is California losing this? Are you going to disappoint me again, California? We got, you got that awesome flag, and you just disappoint people. At least go after a take back Baja, California, right? At least if you could just take that region, that would be something. I don't know what... It looks like if Minnesota keeps these borders, it looks like Minnesota is actually going to be leading the charge. Not so much the Lone Star Empire. Which I think is kind of kind of funny. Kind of interesting, I guess. Are you guys doing anything up here in the north? Yukon? Maybe there could be a democratic, you know, uprising in the north, perhaps, maybe. Oh, I didn't realize North Dakota's just chilling here. Trying to trying to be quiet, trying to do their best and yeah, they're just they're just some um... Oh, oh you you guys are all part of the same thing. 
yeah, Nebraska, Iowa, Missouri, and North Dakota are all Democratic, a Democratic faction. There it goes. Bam. So let's look at the new borders. Minnesota just took, took it all. So this is really important. Who does the Confederation declare war on next? Louisiana. Uh, Minnesota also declared war on Mexico, which means that you just got yourself involved in two separate wars. Actually, no. Minnesota hasn't called in the rest of their faction, which they should. They, they probably will. Oh, this is okay. As long as someone doesn't mess up, it might be Oklahoma. The Confederation might mess up really bad. Oklahoma Empire declared war on Louisiana too. Yeah, because that's fine. Louisiana isn't friends with anybody. So you should easily be able to, to eat that up. But Minnesota is about to call you into that Mexican war. And uh, that's going to be interesting. Boom, Maine has been destroyed. The syndicate gets... Oh, wait, did you white piece? Uh, I think you did. I think you just white pieced. No, no, Maine was a democratic state, I thought. I don't, I don't know what happened. Luckily for New York, there's no border here. And they can't just go through, oh, the Commonwealth of Lithuania. But you're democratic. That's interesting. I thought Commonwealth automatically means you're, I guess not. I don't know. Well, we've never seen Minnesota this strong before. So, uh, if you're... If you picked Minnesota, you must be pretty happy because uh, this is a very unique experience. I have not seen them this powerful. Let's view as the Lone Star State for a second. So Louisiana is going to be destroyed in like five seconds. It's 1938, approaching 1939. And I, I assume in the next video, that's when uh, interesting European politics should go down. You like Hungary. Yeah, you like Albania. So, well, we knew that Hungary was very fascist in the first place. You better start liking nationalist Spain. A lot of, uh... A lot of support from... In communist France. Well, it's not communist France, but it could be one day. This is interesting. You know, communist... Or France does not start off with this much communist popularity. It's not, it doesn't look like it's rising per day, but... Um, I'm not sure if maybe maybe the Soviet Union was trying to have an impact. I don't know. They might have been. Either way, uh, we it's still it's really possible with with this non-historical uh, focus on. Oh my goodness, who is winning this? Minnesota just dominating Mexico. Will this be the first time we just see the death of Mexico? Because we've always seen Mexico do well. Why haven't you called them in? You you can call Lone Star. Empire and uh, and Mexico's dead. You also really need to destroy Mexico before they join the common turn. That's like the only thing that can save Mexico, which we saw last time too. I guess they're okay with it. So where else? Uh oh, what just happened here? Declared war in Mississippi. That's another very very smart move because Mississippi has no other friends. So, right, I mean, they're not shooting themselves in the foot yet. I feel like they could be close, though. Uh, they're not, oh, they did call in Oklahoma. They did call in Oklahoma, so it'll be a race. Oklahoma might get a little bit out of this. Mexico's still defending itself. But as I said, you gotta, you gotta take out Mexico soon. Because if you don't, that's not gonna be good. And I don't think, I think California's been at war for so long. I... Well, I don't know why they're not just taking Baja right now. Take all of Baja. Oh, there they go. And we might still see a strong California. Did you join a good faction, California? Or did you mess up again? You're part of the syndicate. Nobody nobody else is a part of the syndicate. Not this version of the syndicate. So, oh, California, man. What are, what you doing with your life? I don't know. Japan is not doing as well. And I've you got to assume, is it because... There isn't a Germany supporting them. I mean, hey, National Spain won in Iberia, so, you know, I don't know. But that's that's my theory behind it. You got you to gotta assume that because there isn't uh, an Axis Germany, maybe Japan won't do as well, especially against a united China. And China gets really powerful, too, so 
That's uh, that's got to be kind of scary. All right, so what's going on? Are you are you invading Mississippi yet? Here's the thing for Texas and Oklahoma. If it, this is this is going to be much harder to fight Florida, Alabama, and uh, and Georgia, that will not be as easy. And I bet you that's around the same time Minnesota's like, hey, yeah, could you help us out here? <laughs> that might be. Oh, I love these Californian borders, though. I know California is planning a naval invasion, but let's see if they actually do it. Appalachia has declared war on the Socialist Re uh, Republic of Virginia. Really like this state. Oh, what did you do? Did you... Did you... Did you take some of my crack or something? Is that what you did? You must have. That had to have been it. <laughs> that I I can't think of any other scenario. Cause you are you're gonna get sandwiched. Well that's too bad, because that's a really cool name. I always like the states with like the, the awesome names. Whoa, what is this? Oh California did do a naval invasion. They might be the ones that take New Mexico then. Ah, uh, the problem for California is they formed that stupid faction. Dang it, California, what are you doing? You formed the stupid syndicate. And that's not going to help you. Maybe maybe something in Latin America. I don't even know. I don't even know, dude. Maybe if California goes after uh, Oregon and Idaho. You got to puppet somebody, though. I would say don't even take the land for yourself. I don't know what California can do. I mean, it'd be it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool to see what happens because never seen them do a naval invasion before, especially not of Mexico. I, I think it's got to be a race to take Mexico City. That's like their only VP left, right? Oh, man, these borders are crazy. These borders are crazy. So once again, Oklahoma kind of got screwed there and they didn't really take much. What's happening out this way? Uh, New York, New York is not a part, you know, I do need to consider that, that I need to look at like the color tones. Those are not the same colors. So yeah, so I don't think that, that would be crazy, but I, I, I don't, I doubt that they're on the same team. They're not. I think there needs to be a, there definitely needs to be improvement to these map modes. Like, the first thing I want is just, can you please just give me a government map mode? Like, it's just super simple. Or an ideology support map mode. Just give me a map mode that shows me communist, fascist, and democratic. Like, that that's at the super simple thing that you think that they would offer, but I guess why would you need that? Unless you're doing some weird-ass stuff, Drew. So, <laughs> which is what we do here on this channel. But anyways, I'm going to have to stop right there. Um, looks like we're going to see the fall of Mexico, which we've never seen that before. So that's cool. We also saw our first successful naval invasion by one of the states. I don't think we've ever seen a state do it, and it was California of all the states. So uh, this should be interesting. In the next video, I'm sure we're going to start to see some very interesting diplomatic things take place inside of Europe, which is kind of perfect because uh, North America is starting to, to blob out. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.